We are watching Michael Jordan's best plays at Madison Square Garden. This will be in chronological order and will include regular season and playoffs. As you can see, it's a long video, so I'm not going to keep you. As usual, highlights first and my two cents after. Enjoy. Professional love is very hard work, and uh, I think I'm dedicated enough to work hard and, and try to be the best basketball player I can. And you know, it's good to get comments from everyone, and uh, that's inspiring to go out and keep working hard. How's the transition been from one from college to the Olympic experience and now to the NBA? Well, I think it's, it's been pretty easy. You know, I, I think the Olympic was kind of pre-professional uh, level. It was fast-paced, it was physical, and that's just the type of NBA game is. And, uh, you know, coming on this level is a brand new start for me, and I have to start from the bottom and work my way up. So, uh, you know, I think the hard work is ahead of me, and I'm, I'm willing to take on that, that challenge and go out and play the best I can. Yeah. Big crowd when the Bulls were here, featuring Michael Jordan and a lot of those fans have returned. We had some close games except the game down in uh, down in Houston. So that to me is a sign that they may be a good ball club as Jordan comes up with the steal and the stuff. Jordan is a complete player. He plays both ends of the floor. And he just demonstrated that playing the passing lane by the Chicago Bulls that time. Oh no. Michael Jordan double clutching on the reverse side of the board. That's 11 for Chicago. When you don't give the offensive player the baseline, the Knicks unfell that got the ball to Carter for the two points then. What a jam by Woolrich. Will Jordan on the inbounds pass. And here's the matchup that everybody came to see, Jordan against King. Michael Jordan is in the jump shot. A Wolves. Right, here's Michael Jordan. Jordan, a follow-up jam. What a jam by Jordan. It's a flow. It really can be a spectacular night for the Bulls as Jordan has come up with another skill. Michael Jordan puts on his show. to just go there regardless of who is standing there. Unbelievable. James Bailey missed it. Bannister. And a block by Jordan. Kenny Bannister went up to jam the ball. And in Chicago. Jordan going the baseline. To Michael Jordan. That's routine. And the Bulls finally score. Here you're going to see a great move by Michael Jordan fakes, goes baseline, and uses both sides of the basket. He gets you to commit on one side, and then he's got the leaping ability to reverse it. Everybody play tough man-to-man, -to -man, even on the weak side of the court, and they have to make a mental adjustment to this. Michael Jordan, need I say, and he has all four points. Both have been spectacular inside reverse layup. He uses that body so well, but watch Michael Jordan now. Sees the defense on the strong side and still has that leaping ability to go to the reverse side. Wilkins lost it. Jordan. He may be getting heated up. Michael Jordan and the foul. This what could be so devastating. Jordan, if he didn't have to play so much offense, is a very good defensive player. Now watch him come up and take the blow and have enough left on his leap to still put it off the glass. Very tough for him to do that. And it's stolen away. Jordan. You know the interesting thing here, Tommy? is that the crowd is yelling as loud for Michael Jordan when he does something like that as they do for the New York Knicks, the home team. Ah! On the return pass from Ewing, batted away. Four on two, Michael Jordan. Oh! And the Bulls lead. First time in the game. Ewing, Ewing took it out of his hand and threw it into the hands of the wrong guy. Charles Oakley out front, guarded by Cummings. Paxson has it to Jordan. Michael down the lane, running hook is in. Michael Jordan comes up 
with something different every night. Off to the right. Walker has it right of the lane, comes across the lane, reach back shot, blocked from behind. Michael Jordan on the release, something special in the air. The highlight film in the red shirt blocked the shot at one end and scored in a special way at the other end. <laughs> Looked like the slam dunk that's, contest. That's right. Michael Jordan. Guarded by Wilkins, left of the lane. Michael across the lane, running hook is in. Michael Jordan has 23. Jordan has it against Wilkins. Michael Jordan left of the lane, spins, fakes in the air, lead in jump, fakes it in. Michael Jordan with 31. Michael just got the ball, went around. This was the one before last. He went up between two players. They said, where did he go? Here I am. He laid it in off the glass. Last one was a shaft in the outside. Just when you think Michael's tongue has really got to be hanging out. Not for a fact, but really hanging out. Jordan lurking underneath the hoop looking for the ball. Well, he was open for a lob pass, but Oakley had it and didn't see it. Oh, yes, Michael Jordan. Oh, Michael Jordan. this time. Good defense by Sellers. That was a great play by Jordan just to catch that ball. This Garden crowd is enthusiastic tonight. Jordan past Walker, past Ewing, kicks it to Corzine. Corzine having a real problem hitting from the perimeter, but Jordan with the offensive board and the stick back. He finds Paxson. Back to Jordan. Now he's isolated against Trent Tucker. Draws Cedric Tony with three on the shot clock. Michael Jordan. Unstoppable. Does. Leading by ten. Ten on the shot clock. Jordan with a spin move. Now you see me, now you don't. So tremendously, although he's playing well, but his addition as a ball handler has really improved the Chicago team. Jordan is on fire. Now he's got 38. Vincent breaks it, has Jordan on the wing, the lob, the jam, and the foul. And that was great communication between the two players. Michael gave a look to Sam to tell him to throw the lob. There goes the lob, there goes Michael, there's the foul, and Michael has to hold on so he doesn't get undercut and gets Patrick Ewing right in the head. Now watch it again. The communication came. Michael gave the signal. Sam saw it, Sam threw it, Michael finished it off. Now Chicago spreading it, milking a little clock. Well, except for Michael Jordan. He's amazing, Bob. You said, Rick, that when you played, coming into the garden made you excited, even though you're coming in from out of town. You felt that was in Michael Jordan prior to tonight. Well, that's exactly the way he felt. He was putting on a show of warm-ups with some dunks, and he's doing it here late in the ball game. Let's watch the move again. The quick move to the baseline. A little bit late. Walker comes over to help. Ewing's too late, and Michael takes it home for another two for Chicago. No. Vincent one-on-one -on -one with Jackson. Good pass, Jordan. And Michael would be the first to credit Sam Vincent for that play. A 20-second timeout is called here. Well, you want to shoot the ball quickly if you're the New York Knicks, but you also want to use a little bit of better judgment. Jackson came deep from the perimeter. That allowed the Chicago Bulls and Jordan to run. And you'll see what Mac Jackson saw as Jordan was coming over the top. Corzine. Jordan on the right wing. He drills it. He's got 13. Jordan off the glass. He's got 19. Well, that was a blind pass, and Michael Jordan took advantage of it. He's going to try to go coast to coast. Does gets the foul. You know, when you get in that situation with him, you're almost better off to just say ole, let him go by, and make it only a two-point play because when he gets in the open floor brother he is tough that's supposed to be a timing play and jordan broke up the timing and had only one thing on his mind make somebody stop him at the other end nobody did they reach in across the ball with mark jackson in the rear from charles oak tipped away on a bad pass jordan oh he has seven leads grant with another rebound 
Bulls by two. What a pass from Jordan to a cutting Horace Grant. Horace Grant. That's why he's such a great player, because he will give it up, and he has the ability to make those type of plays. Tom. Second quarter in action. Vincent will explode again. Now, 10 on the shot clock. Beautiful pass from Cartwright. Back door to Jordan. I don't mind that Jordan. Let's watch this good play here. We're going to see a great backdoor play. Cartwright gets a backdoor real quick. Newman's beaten too late coming over. Sid Green take it home, Michael. Defense! 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 Jordan on the drive against Wilson. Now with 17. The dish to Grant. That was how it's Grant. It was Jordan's penetration that caused it. Trent Tucker was right there. It's been somewhat of a standoff. I'd say tonight's ball game, Cartwright has performed more productively than in Oakland. Shot clock to seven for Jordan from the free throw line. Reminiscent of the game winner against Cleveland. Gets the position, doesn't get the ball. He should have had it in that position right there. Finally, now he does get it, but he had to wait a long time, and then the double team. And then the work to go without it, the crossover into the middle, boom, up here, changes on the way down, knock it in. That missing rebound was Grant, and that'll recycle the shot clock. Jordan sees an opening in the lane. The reverse look ball, hold it. Yes, the reverse goes, the basket will count. Michael Jordan goes to the line. I'm not even going to say anything about this, just watch this. Michael Jordan on the line, Jordan has not missed from the line tonight. Jackson puts up the shot, wouldn't go for him. Jordan pulls it away. Michael on the run, trying to get it going himself, and does with those two. His first basket of the game. Six in the quarter, eight in the game. And it's a nine-point lead. Jordan's at his last three. Now the steal by Michael. He has Kiki to beat, and he'll do that. Yeah, rather impressively. <laughs> There's Michael. Boom. Out of the way. Great anticipation. Now watch how he's going to make this great crossover move. Frees Kiki. Kiki tries to grab him. Couldn't get a hold of it. Michael takes it home. This program authorized into broadcasting rights granted by the National Bank. Shot by Jackson wouldn't go. Pippen the rebound. Now shot selection's got to be good for the Knicks, and that's not a good shot, I don't think. Michael Jordan made the basket, and the result is what? Michael Jordan gets a good transition opportunity, goes pass intended for Porzine, Ewing stepped in there. They're going to call the goaltender. Now Jordan erupts. Enough presence of mind to get control. Now he goes up, he's going down, ball is definitely, he was going down to the basket when that block came. That was a good call. It may have been a little stretch there, but uh, Oakley trying to get his point across. Jordan with his first field goal back out. Pippen challenged him for that rebound. Jordan. Nice crossover move, and then Wilkins with the piggyback on Hodges, although he thought he was fouled. And Jordan goes for the, the length of the floor. Well, if you try and steal a ball from Jordan when he's flying. 27. Will Purdue just came on, and bounding, and Jordan beat Newman, who gambled. Made a bad play. I'll say. Vand away with nine to shoot. Gets it in play to Wilkins. Jordan blocks his shot. Twice. It twice. Runs out. Ball squirts loose. It's still loose. Stacy King, a pick up to Pippen. It's a two on one. Michael Jordan. A yeah, you got it. That's what they came for, didn't they? Tie game. As we near the six minute mark for the quarter. The garden is buzzing. <laughs> now they had the ball when it was made. He blocked the shot twice against Gerald Wilkins. And then the ball came down. Dove on the floor. That's where Pax hurt his foot. King got it to Scotty Pippen. Pippen took it on down and gave it to who else? Poster time. Cheeks around the Oakley screen. Drops it into Mustaf. And oh, Michael Jackson. Cheeks trying to save, but to Jordan. Michael burning in on Vandaway. What a play. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Now the Garden crowd coming to life. Jordan doubled up, backs it away, spins in on Wilkins. What a shot by Michael Jordan. 21 points for 
They look for Jordan, get it to him for the jam, and the Bulls take the lead in impressive style. Michael with 23. For a moment here, as they go for a loose ball, Michael was in on the stuff a minute ago. Jordan around Cheeks, runs into Cartwright. Whoa! Feed to King Whoa! in the reverse. What a pass. What a pass. It's a 12-point <laughs> lead. We've always talked about his shots, but what a pass that was to Stacy King. Beautifully done. It's an eight-point game. Michael feels it for Vander. Showtime in New York. Yeah. 29 Second points lead. for Michael Jordan. As the Bulls lead it by 10 with six. Shoots it over Cartwright. And Michael Jordan up for the rebound. That ball hangs on this rim. It, it does. Hangs up there, it? Here's Jordan beating Starks hard to the hoop. Oh, Michael boy. Jordan with the layup. <laughs> Here's Michael on that drive. He left everybody. <laughs> he just took, every, took the off past everybody. It's to Walker. And Paxson is steal ahead to Jordan. Michael Jordan all the way to the hoop. Airborne Jordan. Two her 13-11. And there Jordan took off and treated the fans to a little bit of excitement here just a second ago. Foul. Michael Jordan for the... Yeah. Whoa. Good job by Johnny Pax, who was hindered in the first half, Jimmy, with the three fouls, and now a timeout by the Knicks. Well, it's the Bulls who have rallied back to within 12. Michael Jordan with a jam. He's guarding Jordan. Michael Jordan beats him hard on the drive for the dunk. Hello, Hello Brian Gwinnett. Welcome. you got to play at the other end, too. Bulls aren't bad. 12 out of 17 in this quarter. There he goes again around the baseline. Up and power slammed it on Quinette a little bit earlier. Michael took it baseline, didn't lay it up any little loosey-goosey move into the hole with a stuff. Starks with 10 on the clock. Indy Jordan is steal. They won't guard Stucks. They can't get spacing. Here's Michael going for the tie. He got it. Listen All tied with 320 left. 10 points in a row for the ball. Uh, to Ewing, Michael just steals the ball and comes down. They need two to tie. Everybody out of the way. They're running backwards. Michael just hits that tongue out, goes to the left, lays it up as he ducks his head under. Loose ball. Now Jordan around a Cartwright screen. On the oh, right. yeah! Oh, he got whacked in the face, but he made the shot. What a hang time shot on this side of the basket. He took off. Keep an eye on it here. Quinette fighting the screen. He goes underneath. He knows Ewing is there. Walker bangs him up off the glass. And wow. Take another look at it, Jimmy. They call a foul on Walker. And still, he is not denied in a most dramatic slam dunk finish. Ewing called for his second foul. That is one of the moves of the season. Jordan faking right, going left, now to the spin. Yes! 19 for Jordan. That is an unreal move. Of course, the defense is with him, and then it is not because he goes airbound and he's fading away. Here is that move. I mean, the defense is with him, and then it is not. He just goes. Bad of tough personality they gave Seattle and Portland. The fans here are waiting. Michael Jordan on the follow up of the Pippen jump shot slams it down. The Knicks attempting 18 three-pointer. Jordan with the head fake to beat Vanderlei and hit. He gets the call on the continuation. The basket counts and a foul. That was Brown Jordan. Vanderlei hanging with him and he gets help. Michael doesn't have to go up high to get that field goal. He scooped it up from down low. Talk about creative. Five remaining in this fourth quarter. Now the Knicks to the line only nine times. Jordan over the back of Ewing. It counts. And the foul. Well, that's a Jordan special. A remarkable field goal. It's hard to imagine anyone other than maybe Pippen making a shot like this. Unbelievable that he is able to suspend in mid-air and then fires at home as he draws the foul. He refuses to allow his concentration to be interrupted. That's Michael enjoying the moment and uh, looked like he threatened to uh, close the eye, something that uh, the Knicks 
and several other clubs have seen. <laughs> the smile uh, breaking out. Michael feels comfortable with that five-point Bulls lead now. Yep. He, uh, oh my goodness. He did it there with the eyes closed. Here's the double team on Jackson. The steal by Jordan. And the Knicks again are having big problems with the pressure of the Bulls. And he plays right over the half court line. Then Mark Jackson, who's much smaller, a good strong trap. Jordan with the hand out there gets the deflection. And then just to remind those fans that think he may have forgotten how to dunk it. No, does a little reverse. By both teams, so the tempo definitely is up in Chicago's favor. Yes, and it counts. A gorgeous spin move by Jordan. And he was fouled. Wilkins. Well, General Wilkins mentioned to us yesterday that he's probably the one who has the best chance of stopping Jordan as far as the guards are concerned from New York down low because of six. Propelling New York to the lead, but now Chicago leads by three as Michael Jordan is able to hit on the slam. A little give and go basketball. Pass, cut without it, and if your teammates are unselfish, they'll give it back to you. Able to get to the loose ball, but he followed up Jordan with the recovery, and Jordan is fouled. The basket counts in the foul, and Michael Jordan very upset about the way he was muscled. What Jordan's upset about is Xavier McDaniel rotating across, just basically goes after his body to try and stop it. Jordan with the strength, the concentration, and now he is upset because he understands if he lands the wrong way, that could be the end of the season for him. A moderate shot earlier this year had spent a day with Michael and gone through his workout training program and said it's really a difficult one. This guy has built his body up and added great strength to a great talent. And I can understand Michael Jordan's point of view. A very hard foul. I don't want to be a dick. Scottie Pippen and the skill ability, and then a Michael Jordan at the other end, you can do things like this. Now, you're wondering how it may have started? Movement without the basketball. If you denied, fake one way, go without it, and then hope you have a teammate like Pippen to deliver. Thigh injury, still working his way back. Michael Jordan finally hit him. Converting a field goal that was in the first half. Here's Jordan. Oh, yes, it counts at a foul. And that's the first Jordan-type move we've seen all day. I'm happy, Marv. Yes. For the fans, satisfied, right? I mean, they came to see this Superman do something, and he finally, as you... Coming up on seven minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, Michael Jordan with a rare... Nice fake by Pippen. Rebound, Jordan. The Jordan Starks matchup. Jordan beating Starks off the dribble. I've only been three for ten, six points in the first half, but we have seen him explode a number of times in the second half of basketball games. Takes it right into the has difficulty finding a shot. Charles Smith has done a terrific job against Scottie Pippen. Michael Jordan. Anthony to shoot. They want to see him fire it up. Jordan knocked it away. Jordan with the steal. Three out. Starks and Ewing collided. But then as he goes up from behind his head, which we mentioned earlier, something Jordan loves to do. Gets the block, off to the races in transition. Give it up, get it back, unselfish basketball. Jordan's return to New York City. These two teams could be matched up in the first round of the playoffs. Jordan is two for two to start this game. Remember, he's coming off the game-winning shot and 32 points against Atlanta on Saturday night. They're going to keep going to the well with Jordan and Stark. Double team, Oakley gets there. Too late! Oh, oh. and did you ask his team back? <laughs> oh, come on! Four and five position of Chicago will be challenged in all of the big games taking care of the defensive board. Jordan starts out on fire. Michael is four of five, has eight points in the first quarter. He had 18 versus Atlanta in the third on Saturday night. Bonner played Michael. Oh, yeah, that, was, that was interesting. Long range, nothing. Michael says, yeah, he can stay with me. The Knicks continue to lead by six with 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Jordan 
he hits three. What else? It's 20 first quarter points for Michael Jordan. Everyone else must understand that they have got to finish the play like that. Of course, that's Michael Jordan. Bulls were 0 for 8 in the second quarter until Jordan scored. Being played by Pippen, there's the double team. Right into the arms of Jordan. It's two on two. Oh, yes, and the foul. We know that. That was like slow motion. He was just gliding, just gliding because he knew that just watch the step that he makes when he decides that he's going all the way. Boom, there it is right there. Takes the bump. <laughs> and uh, the beautiful control of the ball with the one hand. Uh, it feels like Beethoven has come back to write his 10th and 11th and 12th and 13th. Remember what he said about the Knicks. Jordan isolated against Stokes. Five seconds. Four. You see it on the lower left. Jordan. Three moves. Wow! 28 points for Jordan with two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Loves playing starts. 30 points for Michael Jordan. 127 to go in the first half. and carrying five fouls. Oh, yeah. First to the left and then to the right. But then again, that's why he's the greatest. Mason, Bonner, and Starks. Yeah, well, bending. They, they have Armstrong and Kerr in there as their spot-up people because they're saying, are you going to double-team Jordan? If they do, if you double-team, they're going to spot up. Michael finds the opening. Yeah. was outstanding. Who has been double teaming him in the lane? Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing. And that was by design. He took it right down the middle of the floor. The Knicks stayed with Armstrong and Kerr in the corners. And then what did they do? They sent Ewing out, his man, right to the front of the rim. Now just watch this. And here comes Ewing. Great pass because there's Wennington going to the front of the rim. Jordan, two assists in the fourth quarter. Now, I'll give you another angle. Beautiful pass, smart basketball. When your big man leads you to double team, go to the front of the rim. This is the best angle so you can see it. Beautiful. Now, the Knicks, plenty of time. 3.1 seconds, okay? 3.1, we know that you can catch the ball and get off at least two dribbles here. Again, three on one, Pippen. Jordan. Offensive foul, no basket. That was beautiful defense by Charlie Goldsley. That's a smart, intelligent play we're talking about. Not a very good decision by Scotty Pippen. He should have given the ball up earlier to Michael. There's no way that, that Charles Oakley should be able to stop Pippen and Jordan in a two-on-one fast break. Right here, Scotty needs to give the ball up a lot sooner to Michael. Playing with Hubert Davis last year, he may be the best pure shooter in the league. How was that? Longley Jordan. That's one of Longley's strengths. He's a very good high post, medium post passer. He's made three turnovers that have hurt the New York here in the second quarter. So good reaction by Rodman, covering up for the open defender. Michael gets two of Oh. <laughs> well, Michael wasn't even going hard. Pass a moment ago. Well, Michael rubs Hubert off on the high pick by Longley. Michael really wasn't going for it. He might have got a dunk. It wasn't a perfect pass, but Michael's such a good athlete, he was able to finish for the easy two. But so far, the, the Bulls with only five points. Take a seven. Yes, Michael Jordan flying to the basket. Against the Chicago Bulls. Here goes a nice little handoff to Michael Jordan, always moving without the ball once they get into their triangle offense. And Derek Harper just not making the green light. Well, he, he needs the fire and needs it in all aspects of his game. Jordan with a terrific driving move and the foul. So Jordan 
will go to the Michael line. Jordan, sensing an opening in the lane. Nice in between all of the defense, able to score and draw the foul. Freddie with six assists in this first half. Jordan with the pull-up. Yes. Michael Jordan cuts it to a 12-point. Go some signs. 14 for Michael. Jordan on the rejection. The save by Kukoc. The look away. Jordan with the beautiful pass to the rookie from Alabama, Jason Kemp. Made a three-pointer, his first shot uh, of the game, and then started going to the basket a little bit more. Here he tries another one from the outside. And John Starks getting a little bit out of control now, forcing things. Michael sensing it, coming over to help out teammate Steve Kerr to swat it away and get the save from Tony Kukoc. And then Starks slow getting back defensively. That left an opening in the middle for Jason Cappy and the no-look feed from Michael. Who like to do it from time to time against the next Pippen with the block. Rejecting Reed. Jordan for Rodman. It's a one-point lead and a quick timeout being called by the Knicks. The start of this third quarter. Stepping behind the line as Anthony Mason starting to have all kinds of problems. But who wouldn't once he's starting to hit their, uh, the, the perimeter shot. And then the terrific defensive play by Scottie Pippen. And Michael Jordan seeing the whole floor. Nobody else sees Dennis Rodman except Michael. And they are the easy lay-in. 5-3, they're up by eight once again. Jordan to the fadeaway. The next 64. Every time he wanted, he was the two of the one-two punch with Patrick Ewing, and things changed. Michael Jordan with a beautiful finger roll. And thrust for the Chicago Bulls. Nobody else really able to get involved as he's able to get inside and go right through uh, J.R. Reed. But the only thing ability. Jordan guarded by Anderson. He has seen a number of looks here today. Jordan with the spin. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. Hopper for Jordan. Jordan off the double team. Again, able to line drive it. He has 24. Jordan with the spin. What a move by Jordan. In most instances. Michael Jordan. Steve Kerr who just checked back. Jordan backing Harper. Michael Jordan with a beautiful move. Care of the ball so important for the Knicks. Also, defensive rebounding. The, the uh, Bulls know how important. Whoa! Michael Jordan has Patrick Ewing won. Chicago ball. Well, actually, Charlie Ward picks off Derek Harper, and Michael takes care of the rest. See Pippen. We're down to 50 seconds to go. Jordan trying to draw the foul, but able to hit. And the Knicks lead is over. Three, Michael Jordan. Thirteen. Twenty-five seconds to go. Jordan for three to tie it. He does. The Knicks of the Bulls are tied at eighty-eight. Timeout called by the Knicks with three. Seconds remaining. Michael Jordan has done it again. 40 points, 16 of the 40 here in the fourth. And remember, he was off to a slow start in the second half. <laughs> I was just about to say, Marv, the Bulls don't necessarily need a three in this situation. If it shows up five, as Michael just escaped with a dribble to get away from Derek Harper, who was in his face to challenge the shot, and it's almost as if Michael willed this thing in. It looked like it was too low, not enough trajectory, but just cleared the front rim. A 19-6 run by the Bulls. Over the last five minutes. Michael Jordan. Try to now by Anthony Mason.
Rodgers and a gorgeous pass for Scotty Pippen. Picked off by Hopper. Fires it down. Jordan with Ewing back. Jordan around Ewing. Oh, what a move. And the foul. Will be headed to the line. 2.21 left of the third. Knicks take the timeout. Ewing stepped away, and then Ward came over to make the contact. From behind on Charlie Ward and Patrick Ewing, really out of his element in that situation, trying to play Michael Jordan one on one, open floor, no contest. Jordan with the step going glass. Michael against Houston. Gorgeous move. Knicks down by one, and Jordan goes to work. Beautiful move. Michael to the fall away. Jordan and Kerr the backcourt for the Bulls. Michael backing Houston to the fadeaway. Chant of defense in the Garden crowd. Jordan elevates. Michael taking it over for the Bulls. Take a look at Michael Jordan going to work again. Comes on in uh, to the hoop. Pulls up for about a two foot jump shot. And... Michael. Three's down by one. Jordan. 23 points. Jordan to the follower. The ball. Michael with 25. Jordan. The brilliance of Michael Jordan on full display here at the Garden. He loves playing in New York. Pippen wants the ball down low on Starks, but Michael may have to take Larry Johnson. And he does. He does. He's right. Shooting well, and you're without your second and third leading scores. Jordan picks the basket and only now picked up by Ward. Knicks lead 46 42, and going back door was Michael Jordan with the layup. 17 for Jordan, and Jeff Van Gundy calls a quick timeout. Yeah, I like that timeout right now because they used a screen. Longley leaving it for Jordan. Jordan from the baseline Whoa, hits. Wow. 19 for Michael Jordan with a defender in his face. The reason that it was a wow was the defender, and also he was behind the backboard at a bad angle, and he had a shoot around the side of the board. And the Knicks turn it over. Jordan coming back. And look how fast the Chicago Bulls can attack. And Jeff Van Gundy will call a second timeout in the first three minutes of this third quarter. And the Bulls. The defensive end. So it was Ward with the offensive a foul with five minutes remaining here in the third. Oh, oh, oh yes. A spectacular reverse layup. He's got 23. Hey, Michael's done five things tonight that have just been... They don't seem to be doing that. No, they're not. Back from opening up a big lead. John Starks, eight points in the third quarter, but oh, Michael right. Jordan is to a minute to go. 13 on the shot clock. The Knicks lead by one. Michael Jordan gets the foul on the basket. And he is totally undaunted. Now, Michael Jordan, on this being his last game, he says he doesn't want to say that this is his last game here in the Garden because that would not only be disrespectful to the Knicks, but also they may end up playing him again in the playoffs. Now, Isaiah talked about it being a love affair with Michael here in the Garden, and Michael says that because of that love affair, he's going to do something special. And that special something is wearing his original Air Jordan shoes. And he said he also hopes to give him about 55. Bob? All right, Ahmad, thanks. We told you about the Nick injuries, including, of course, Patrick Ewing out. And now Chris Dudley is back up at center, following him onto the injured list. That means Charles Oakley is at center tonight. But the Bulls have also made some moves. Luke Longley, with an injured knee, didn't make the trip in from Chicago. He misses his third straight game. And Randy Brown goes on the injured list with a strained left Achilles. Steve Kerr, their best three-point shooter, finally back after missing a couple of months with a separated shoulder, told me before the game he feels pretty close to 100% and could play his usual quota of minutes if called upon to do so. Get all the cuts. Michael. Two seconds to shoot over Houston. Got him. Well, I like what we're seeing here, Bob, because both to the right. He takes him left, then he brings him right. The drawing kick from Harper. They like to get into the lane. And then he stares him down and just shoots right over him. Who coach? Michael in traffic. 
Jordan with 13, tying Houston for game high honors. Michael just bogarted at Stark. Ballard shot is short. Here comes Michael. Spinning in the lane for the slam. Nice. Houston has 15 for New York. The last basket for Michael in this half is one to remember. But look at the paces that Jordan has on this move. He shakes him to the right, spins him, and then looks and dunks it in the hole. Cook clears the boards. His 14th rebound. Jordan nearly robbed, and the shot's going to fall. Oh, my. Oh, man. That was nice. Nice is an understatement. <laughs> took the bump, took the hit, reversed it, spent it around. But what made the play successful was his ability to go left. Houston forced him left. And he extends and takes the hit. Down by five. Harper in the lane. Can't cut it to three, but Jordan can. Now watch Michael as he moves without the basketball. And he uses Oakley's body to gain leverage. So he, now watch him moving about the basketball. Now watch him come in and put his left arm on Oakley to gain leverage so he can have the easy tap in. Michael with 21 points on 23 shots in 26 minutes. You see Starks guarding Jordan here. He takes him low and he uses his strength. Jordan will use different methods of scoring on different people. And you see him driving around Houston going left. And against Charlie Ward, he gives him the fake. And Jordan guarded by Houston. Slithers through the lane and hits with the left hand. Jordan with three on the 24. Will take it from the baseline. And now he has 30 in these days. Fade away. Oh, 33. That, that, that was nice. He, he took the bump. Starks gave him a little knee, and, and he fades you. And now the same side of the court, instead of going to the other, he goes the opposite way and fades him. Never gives you the same thing twice. Fallon Cummings was his third. Jordan into the lane with the fadeaway. Count it and bring him to the line. See, look at, look at the pass. I mean, it, it's, it's perfect between them. It's the pass that leads him right to the score. You know, Pippen gives him a pass. Jordan doesn't know what. It, it's the pass that Pippen took mine. Michael. Oh, my goodness. See, that, that's the strength of Michael Jordan. You know, early in his career, he wouldn't have had the type of strength to power and muscle that shot up. A number of the players and even two of the officials are laughing. Watch the strength here. He takes the bump, Cummings grabs him, and he still is able to fight through and power through. You know what? Strength is one thing. But lots of guys are strong, and lots of guys have skill, and only one guy has this level of artistry. To see this a second, maybe third, fourth, fifth, and sixth time before you believe it, here it is again. Oh, yeah. You know, look at the reaction from the bench. There no, those two guys in terms of Winnington and Boosler, they have the best job. <laughs> Look at them. They you have know. the best job in the world. If you don't have your best rebounder in the game, that's a bad sign. Everybody went to the glass. Nobody touched the ball. Michael Jordan takes it inside for his first two. Jordan again brings it down, sheds the defensive three well, and kneels it inside. He's hit two in a row. Well, right here, we got a pick and roll, but it's guard on guard. I mean, that's just an easy switch right there, but they don't switch, and they just let him get the open shot. The next time down the court, they couple into Jordan, picked up by Anderson and by Harrington. And Michael makes it work. Well, that's the shot he was working on. But right here, Shannon Anderson has the same size. He's not a great athlete, doesn't have great lift, but right there, Jordan spins away from the double team. He's been doing that for years. This is Jordan's 28th visit to the league's most storied arena. He played here last on March 8, 1998. And with Chicago, he scored 42 points, and he was 35, and now 38, making his second comeback. In his first comeback, 1995, after playing some baseball, played here against the Knicks and scored 55 points. Freewell got a piece of it in air ball by Michael. Now Jordan with the reverse. A beautiful move around Freewell, and that hits on the reverse. That was vintage Michael Eric. Away right there. Ill advised pass. That was intended for Camby. Here comes Jordan. Houston back. Jordan. It counts and the foul. Michael 
still showing some hops. Yeah, catapulting to the hoop that time. So they had a two on one. White getting it out quickly to Michael. Houston is back. He's 6'6. Six, six. Jordan's 6'6. Six, six. There with a Statue of Liberty move around Houston. There was body contact right there in the continuation. Toast as well. No action. Steal by Michael. All right, here comes Jordan. Oh, the crowd reacts. They've had a confrontation early on, pushing and shoving. Michael Jordan off the bench and hits. Why, well, he looked bewildered. What? What? <laughs> Davis able to knock it away from Houston. Here's Jordan around Screenwell. Screenwell did not want to pick up his sixth foul, and Jordan was able to accelerate by him to bring the Wizards within one. Down to 15 seconds. Both teams over the foul limit. They're holding for a finale here. Game tied 83. Now Jordan. Played by Spreewell. Has the five. Here's Michael. Firing. And hits with three and two ten seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Timeout called by the Knicks. And does that feel good to Michael Jordan? Three run the last six minutes to turn things around. The Knicks had a 10-point lead here. I don't have to do this. I'm only doing it because it is who I am. That's how I played the game. That was my mentality. If you don't want to play that way, don't play that way. Break. All right, so for the most part, most of these plays are pretty well known, so it's not necessary for me to really go down and break down any of the plays from a basketball standpoint, but there are a few things I just wanted to touch on. Um, I included that initial interview from his first game in New York because I wanted to point out Michael's mindset or his mindset, you know, when he was first coming into the lead, how, you know, he was the third pick, he was a lottery pick, um, I think it was college player of the year, like the last two years at North Carolina. So, you know, he came in with a little bit of notoriety, but not too much. Not so much to the point where, you know, he was feeling himself. So he's still saying he had that mindset where he had to, that he's starting at the bottom and he has to work his way up. You know, and this wasn't, you know, the two, it wasn't like his first or second game. He had, I think he had already had 40 at this point. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Cause I know he had 40 in his ninth game against San Antonio. I don't remember off the top of my head if it was before or after this game. Um, but I know he'd gotten off to a good start in the league, but he's still, I just wanted to, I included it because I wanted to just show that, you know, he didn't come in, you know, with a lot of hype, at least outwardly. I'm sure he had, you know, confidence and belief in himself, but, you know, men, his mentality was that he was going to start from the bottom and work his way up, and <laughs> that's exactly what he did. And secondly, the other play I did want to talk about, not so much for the play itself, but... I always like to point this out, the, the dichotomy between the NBA of then and the NBA now. And with this play, it touches on a few things. Number one, as I always touch on, the physicality of the league is just completely different. Michael goes up and, and takes the hit and lands on his feet, you know, where we, we already know how it is now. They get hit hard, they're going straight to the ground, they're going to roll around for a while, you know, play hurt and try to draw a flagrant. You know, but he, he takes the hit and, you know, he lands on his feet. And then afterwards, which is the, the my favorite part, this is one of my favorite plays, because you see he, he barks and he's barking at and throws his fist, and that's, you know, Patrick Ewan down there on the ground. And we all know that Patrick is one of his best one of his best friends in the league. They went, you know, all the way back to, you know, and played against each other in college. And I'm sure they even knew who they were, in, you know, in high school and such. So they'd gone back. They were good friends. But the competitive nature of the league at that time, especially, and this is the playoffs as well, that it was so fervent that even though you were good friends, when you stepped on the court, that friendship didn't wasn't out there on the court with you, for the most part. Um, I mean, I can think of an instance where, you know, there was a, a loose ball that Mike went for. It was the, I want to say it was the 89 playoffs against the Knicks, actually. And then him and Charles Oakley kind of had a little smile. But it was like a little moment. But it didn't affect the competitiveness of the game, if you know what I mean. Where today, you know, today's game is like the players, it's not that they don't compete. But it's like they're making so much money, so much more money. 
and they're so comfortable. And that combined with the fact that there's so much player movement that those rivalries don't get a chance to really, you know, take root and grow and develop. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this is 92. The Bulls had played the Knicks in 89 and 91. And then this was the first year that Pat Riley was coaching the Knicks. So they were, you know, taking on that, that bad boy style of play where they were going to be extra physical. So it was, you know, it built up a little bit. And then, you know, just New York and Chicago in general are going to, you know, just have rivalries in sports. Um, and, of course, we know the Bulls, you know, they they played, they beat the Knicks in 89 and then beat the Knicks, you know, for four of the first six titles. So, you know, that was a hell of a rivalry that really built up. And because there wasn't a lot of player movement, like there is now, a lot of times those same players were on those same teams year after year after year, matchup after matchup after matchup. So it just it just grew and grew and grew and the antipathy between you know between each other just grew and it manifested itself, especially in playoff games. So um that's just one of this is, this just stands out to me because this doesn't exist in the league now. Number one, because the, the league is just softer in general as far as the rules and what's allowed. Like, honestly, if this exact play would have happened now, it wouldn't shock me if they teed up Mike for, you know, throwing the fist and kind of, you know, barking down at, at Ewing and, and Oakley on the ground. Or, excuse me, that might have been um, Xavier McDaniel, excuse me. Um, it wouldn't shock me if they teed him up, you know, because of the, the, the modern soft rules. Or even, you know, it reminds me of the, the Irish and stepover play. That's outlawed now. You can't do that. You'll get teched up. So it's like one of the most iconic plays that they celebrate in history is now against the rules. You'll get a technical foul for doing that. So it's, it's just, I just like to point out the dichotomy in the league and the league has changed so much and I don't think it's for the better. Um, and not many, and this play demonstrates that. But anyway, that's going to be it on this one. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're listening to the commentary, I assume you, you, know, you got through the whole thing so you must have enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. It definitely helps. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. Peace. He no longer needs accomplishments to prove his case as the greatest player in NBA history. He just adds to it. And if this is the final chapter, what a way to close the book.